This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, welcome back to Revin Automation Labs and welcome to JavaScript series. So in this particular video, I'm going to teach you that how to enumerate properties of an object. It means how to get all the values of the properties. It means how to get all the properties from an object using different for loops. So we will talk about the concept is let me create a new JavaScript file over here. Um, object. Okay. Just a second. Let me rename to JS. Dot JS. Okay. Then uh, okay, let me one thing. Just move to trash once again. Let me create. Yeah. Okay. So how to okay properties of an object enumerating properties of an object means how to get all the values get all the properties of an object how to get it that i want to check that okay hey how many uh, variables are there how many functions are there in that particular object so let's see i'll create a symbol one object i'll create let's say circle is equal to that we have already seen that this is how we have to create the object and then i'll here i'll give a value let's see radius uh, one variable radius equal to one like this and then i'll create a function like this over here inside this particular object and the function name is a draw and then i simply say that console.log and then here just print a draw so simple object i have created over here okay in the previous video also we have already seen how to create an object so let's see this is the basic object i have created now it's having two important properties one is the okay this radius variable this radius property you can see the moment i mouse over it's saying property radius number type of radius is number we can store number draw is what draw is a method and it's not returning anything it's a void type of method okay so these are the two properties are available over here so let me like this now how to enumerate how to get all the properties so the first way is you can simply use you remember that we have covered for off and for in loop so first we will talk about for in loop okay how to get the properties with the help of for in loop so i simply say that okay hey for declare a okay key over here or any variable you can declare let's see key in which object in circle object like this and then what do you want to print i want to print console dot console dot log and then what do you want to print the print i want to print key comma right and then i'll be using bracket notation over here to print all the values remember for in loop so what is a simple right circle bracket whatever the key is there i just try to print it on the console right so let's see what exactly it's printing i simply run this with node and then now you see it's printing radius one and then we have one draw function is available over here you can see that radius one and one draw function over here okay perfect i'll do one thing that i'll print one separator over here as well so that you will see that yeah so that you can differentiate between the output like this okay so this is the first way of doing it using for in loop you can use it console.log and circle key you can simply print it over here if you don't want to print key like this and if you try like this a simple saying that okay yeah the value it will be printed one and then function draw but i want to print radius and the function name as well so that's why i have to write it like this key and then print the second part circle key okay i'm not using dot notation i'm using okay <clears throat> bracket notation over here now the second way is you can simply do using 
for of loop how to use for of loop for using the for of loop i simply write for let let's see i'm using this time once again a key key of what key of simple circle if you are trying to use it now see it carefully and then i simply say that okay hey simple console dot log and then you print key okay now you try to run it let me simple it's saying circle is not iterable okay this particular error message you will be getting it because key of circle it means you cannot use it directly over here it's saying circle is not iterable why okay so to solve this particular problem guys because circle is a kind of object over here right not kind of it's an object so you cannot use off because off is generally we use it for remember off we have to use it for the arrays so it is not an array circle is an object over here like this all right so for off generally we have to use whenever you have to get the values from the array right so what we have to do now to solve this problem you simply write over here that circle is an object so what we have to do we have to write object dot okay object dot keys method is there okay one method is there keys and then simple pass bracket over here <clears throat> okay like this okay so key of object dot keys now what exactly we have to do object dot keys will store it's saying this is an object constructor will be called which is also <clears throat> having the array one string array like this okay which is returning what which is returning one string array over here you can see that so that's why we have to write it like this and then you try to print it on the console now you see we are getting the radius and draw <clears throat> like this okay radius and draw then we have one more method if you simply write it like this what do you do let me write a separator so that you will see the separate output for that let key of object dot keys instead of object dot keys you simply write entries object dot okay different entries over here of that particular circle and let's see this time i'm using entry and then you simply write entry over here okay so let entry of object dot entries so <clears throat> let's run it and then you see the output this time i'm getting the proper output that yeah radius with value one and draw is a function over here but earlier with this particular method we were just getting the key over here okay so object dot key it will return one string array okay so what is the return type this method will return what an string array and we know that only for of loop will be applied on array only so if you don't write <clears throat> only if you write circle just like this it will not work why it will give you object is circle is <clears throat> undefined key is undefined over there so that's why we have to convert that particular circle into an array into an string array and then it will return <clears throat> what an array a string array where the keys will be stored so that's why we are getting radius and draw but if you want to get the values values means the entries on that particular keys how many entries are there what are types of entries are there so simple write a new variable entry of object dot entries from which object from the circle object and then you simple print entry so it will iterate each and every entry available in this particular circle object and then it will print it on the console okay so better way is better to use it like this if you want to use it right okay now so for of loop is used for arrays and map map we haven't covered that we will do it later but not now and we have one more option is there that not option exactly one is uh, in operator is available in operator means you can simply check that okay a specific you want to check um, a property in an object i want to check it okay hey this particular property is available in this particular object or not 
which is circle is the object and radius property is available in circle object or not. So how will you verify? I want to verify that, okay, specific property is available in object. You simply write if, okay, if radius, radius is, okay, I'll simply write it like this. If radius in, where in circle, if it is available in circle, you simply say that, okay, hey, console dot log, and then you simply print, let's see, uh, yes, it is available. Okay, if radius property is available in circle or not. So let's see what exactly it's printing. So I'll simple run it again. It's saying yes, it is available. You can see, yes, it is available. <clears throat> now I want to see that, okay, hey, in circle, this price <clears throat> property is there or not. No, price property is not there. We have only radius and draw. Then let's see, if you run it, it's saying it's not printing anything. Right, so price is not available, condition is not satisfied, so it will not come inside this, and then it will not print yes over here. Same thing, let's see how to print that the draw property. I want to check that okay, the draw property in circle. So if you run it, same okay, let's see, uh, draw is a function, so let's see this key is working or not. So I'll do one thing, let me comment this that and uh, let's see it's printing or not let's run it again okay see it's printing it's over here right <clears throat> same thing let me uncomment this guy once again and then run it again it's printing yes over here like this okay so or i'll do one thing that uh, i'll put a separator over here Okay, and if draw in circle console dot log yes. So let's run it again. It's saying yes. Okay. Uh, maybe it's not coming over here. It's not coming. It's fine. We will do one thing. Let me put a bracket like this, just to give you the output. Put a bracket. Okay. Now let's run it again. Okay, it's printing still yes. Okay, so it's saying draw in circle. It should be yes. So let me comment this guy once again just to verify that okay, draw is there or not. So let's run it again. Yes, it's there. It means this condition is also getting satisfied. Okay, so price also you can check any specific property, just a small thing, guys. In operator, you can check. It's that particular property is available in that particular object or not. Simple, you can check it like this. Okay, so this is in operator. If sometimes you want to check the properties there or not. Okay, so it's a very simple topic. You can please practice. And this is called enumeration or enumerating properties of an object. Get all the properties of object and verify all the properties of the object. So this is a topic name actually. So I'll write it over here. The third topic name is this check a property in an object it will return true or false so with the help of an operator inside the if condition we have to use it like this okay guys so that's all for this particular video please practice these small small things it will really really help you when you uh, design a framework when you learn angular when you learn react right so it will really really help you that time thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video and let me know if you have any issues and please click on subscribe button so that next time you will be getting the notification if i'm uploading any particular video thank you so much guys